previously on the No Beep Beep channel. It's like, uh -huh. and then his mum came for him. Uh -huh. <laughs> and coming up. I don't it. even mind sexy. I just want it to look like it fits. I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimpia Chanel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who get access to the most unappealing crap you'll find anywhere on the whole internet. Cue the snafu! What? What are we doing? What's this then? Nicole Page Brooks. We're not still doing that joke. I'm Nicole Page Brooks from Atlanta, Georgia. Georgia. It's a different job. Open a book. Hello there and welcome to an all new Novimpia Eurovision reaction. Yes, hello. We are here to react to Georgia's Eurovision entry for 2024. If you have not been to our channel before, my name is Nova. And I'm Olympia. Sometimes we're dressed like ladies. If you've never been here and you're like, who are those chicks up there in that banner? That's <laughs> us just looking a little bit shinier. Um, okay, now listen. Oh, Georgia. Georgia. Georgia is one of my favorite countries in Eurovision because you never know what on earth they're gonna send. It is always so different. We liked their entry last year. Not one of our favorites. You know what one we really liked was Nina Sablati, Warrior. Oh, yeah. But that, that again had some issues with <laughs> some lyrics. What was the one lyric in that? What? Very like early noughties K-pop, but just like made up words. I love um, Sofo, Visionary Dream. I just think there's some real great ones and they're always so strange. You never know what's gonna um, come out of Georgia. I think they're a little bit like San Marino in that respect, possibly. Georgia really held their cards close to their chest this year. This was one of the last songs to be revealed and it was, they, they didn't put out a date for it. I think it was only literally like a few days before they were like, surprise, we're dropping it. And people were like, surprise! finally. And yeah, there was a music video for this, not a live performance. So the song is called Firefighter and the artist's Nova. Are we saying Nutsa? I think so, I'm not sure. I don't wanna be really broad and British and be like, Nutsa. Jimapel, Georgia, Jahabates, I might stand in Angleterre. I'm really not sure. I would think Nutsa. Nutsa. Um, and you know, it's, it's up, Beat. It's gonna be one of the. There's not too many girl bops this year. I think we can say this is a girl bop. No. Yeah. Can we put it in that category? I would say so. Not to be broad and like really, you know, off base or whatever, but it's kind of like in that vein. So I would very much like to watch this and react to it. And there's yeah. something I'd like to say <laughs> after the. Fact. There's something I want to talk about as well. Oh my really god. Nice okay. Let's just get into it. What's happening here? Oh, it's spinning around again. This is another act on a spinning platform. Looks a bit like the moon, but I think it's like a big granite, like a block of marble or something. I love her hair. It's so dramatic. So we're getting full snatched braid. Hair and makeup is excellent. I like the idea of this outfit. I think maybe the fit could be a little bit better. She wears some peculiar outfits in this video that I don't love. I but I love these sleeves. The sleeves are excellent. I think the I think we're wasting no time. We're into like a pre-chorus and we have a dance routine. We're wasting no time. I mean, you know immediately what this is going to be. You're either going to be into it or you're not going to be into it. Some of the proportions on these clothes. They're rather okay. We've got some wind. I like the idea of the dress. I think the dress is awful. <laughs> this looks a little bit like she's at a horse stables. I'm not really sure where this is supposed to be. I'm not oh, yeah. crazy about this, this location. I mean, listen, you get a drink in us though. Okay, we've got different hair. Oh, oh, she's giving it all that. Great. And the, the hook is great. They probably already put out the fire because she looks soaking wet, doesn't she? Uh, she's dipping and doing it. She's I love flipping this and ring flopping of fire and crapping. Her. Oh, the floor choreography you is great. Better roll around on that dirty warehouse floor, you bitch. I like the red boots. I like that this song is not completely straight, like <laughs> in a number of ways. It's not completely just like structured how you would expect. It's kind of all over the place, but I quite like that though. Do you? Yeah, I do. I think with this floor routine in the water, we could use some more dynamic camera angles. Maybe that was a limitation of the set. Um, but if we're going to recreate this routine in Malmo, I want some more interesting camera angles. She, well, I think it, she's been done dirty by the edit in this music video. I don't think the edit does her any favors. Um, it's not sharp enough in my opinion. I would agree. Uh, this is a great shot. I love that. It's gonna be dramatic. There's gonna be 
There might be pyro. You imagine there would be pyro because the song is called Firefighter. There's going to be smoke. There's going to be wind. They want to just go full camp. I feel like with the specific dance moves and possibly with what she's wearing, it's going to look a bit Ruslana Wild Dances. I love that we have this <laughs> final kind of chorus reprise with some grander vocals. There's legitimately moments in this video where I believe you can see her labia, which is an issue. <laughs> I love this red dress. That's it! Okay, I the love it. The red dress with the gold corset is excellent let's there, have some more of that there, listen i think you can be full leotard i'm not a, someone who's going to come and be concerned about like someone showing too much skin or um like the dancers in spain's uh entry i no, not it needs to look like it fits it i think the the, the proportions on all, most of those clothes actually were a little bit off and there are times when i'm not going to check this specifically but i think there are some times when you can probably see like a little bit of lip which is not ideal <laughs> i just wanted to say that i watched this first without you and then i sent you a message and i said i think you're going to like this and we have had comments specifically on our netherlands video where right at the start of our reaction to that that was a blind reaction and it's just the first few bars not even, and I say, you're not going to like this. Mm -hmm. I Just so pe people who aren't familiar with our channel, we are a couple and we have lived together for over 10 years now at this point. So we know each other very well. We know each other's tastes very well. It was not a case of like some people are accusing, we listened to it before and we knew and we just wanted to dislike it, da da da, da all these conspiracy theories. I don't know, but I just know, I just knew that you were not going to like it because I know this is not the kind of music you didn't like. And with this, I knew <laughs> that you would like it because I know you. <laughs> but we've also said in most of these reaction videos, I guess this speaks to if people only clicked on the one uh, and not the others, but we've we've said every single time if we've seen it beforehand, and that's probably more, that's definitely more than we haven't seen them blind reaction style. There were comments saying that we had maybe seen how popular Uro Papa was oh, right, and uh, we just I... wanted to be contrary and like kind of egged each other on not to like it. But I'm just saying, no, it's so sometimes, not all the time, Time. Sometimes we surprise each other, but often I can be like, I know you're gonna like this, or I know you're not going I'm to. I'm not like entertaining this. the conversation at all because it's the same kind of people that last year. I mean, our favorite was tattoo, and then people were just like, oh god, it's so overrated. You're just going up. You're such a sheep. Well, which is it? I don't know. Anyway, that's so dumb. I'm not even gonna talk about that. I think there is something to be said, and I don't know what this is. But Malta's song has really shot up in my ranking. <laughs> and this has a similar vibe where I just find it so amusing. I don't know. It's not like, I don't think they're bad in any way. It's just a slice of pop and they're giving it their all. There's something so amusing to me about these. There's something so amusing about when Colleen, what's the bit in the Colleen song I always absolutely go for ham for? What's that one bit? Can we say it? I just think it's so camp. I just love how almost, it's kind of naff. I think it's bordering. <laughs> Slightly on like a music, which is yeah, maybe that's what it is. I think kitsch is a better maybe that's, adjective. Yeah, and I think Eurovision has often been about kitsch. Let's actually talk about this song though, because I feel like we haven't done that at all, and we're like twenty minutes in. There's not going to be a reaction video, you stupid slut. I think that she is gonna have to absolutely sell the ever-loving shit out of this if she wants to qualify, because. She's going to. We have seen some <sighs> rehearsal footage already on her Instagram where she's doing this floor choreography. So we uh -huh. know that that's going uh -huh. to be incorporated. I don't think in it's the way. most I actually would argue that um, Sarah Benici is doing slightly more sophisticated choreography or like harder to do choreography than, than what she's doing. Which I mean, you know, if you're going to try and, and, and be in this arena, which is it's difficult, it's a difficult place to be. I think this is a bigger song. So if the vocals yeah. can be um, sustained in this song that's going to impress me more than um, what Malt is doing. This, I, this, it's so camp. <laughs> I feel like we have a good idea. Uh, what we, we know, kind of know what to imagine. This is going to be like a mama. There's going to be pyro. There's going to be fire. Uh -huh. We're either going to get an outfit that represents kind of like the warmer fiery colours a la the red outfit at the end or it's gonna be leather. Yeah. It's gonna be something like that. What I want is I really would like just the styling to be refined a little bit. I like the ideas, I like the aesthetic, but I do think it just needs a more trained eye to say, actually, this can go here and that can go there. Excellent. Dangle earrings are chosen and a colored lipstick. It's a nice look, isn't it? Isn't it? That's all it yeah, needs, well, just, I just a think... little 
tweak. Proportionally, in that leotard, I just think it's very boxy up top and then it kind of, I don't know, the cut down, there's just certain things with the cut of, of a lot of the clothing she was wearing, which just, it, it didn't seem like it was just the most optimal thing. And I think, yeah, sometimes if, listen, if we were going to watch her in a club or wherever perform that in that outfit, we would be nothing but like standing there screaming at her. So great. But if we're going to talk about chances to qualify, if something's maybe slightly too sexy, uh, I think it just runs the risk of people just being like, oh no, maybe not, we'll, we won't vote for it. I don't it. even mind sexy, I just want it to look like it fits. And there's some Tasteful, parts of this though. that look like they're a bit too small. If people are uh, even remotely conservative, they're not going to vote for something which is like too, is too on show. I mean, they're just not, are yeah, they? Yeah, I see people what you're People are saying. conservative, just people are misogynist, people are X, Y, and Z, and they're just like, oh, I'm not going to vote for that. So I just think that's something thoughtfully you can do on the stage to try and maximise your points. So where have you put this in your ranking though? What do you think? I've got it so high and I don't even care. I've got it, it's, I've got it ninth, I think. I have this 18th. <laughs> I've got it ninth. 18th is quite high. Yeah, ninth is real high. I do like this. I knew you would like this. I think it's just a really great classic pop song with a really great hook. I think the structure is so easy. This is quite a radio friendly song. There's plenty of space here to really give it a roll on stage. It might be borderline a little bit formulaic, but it's just really infectious and I am excited to see this live. I really hope she can sustain those big notes at the end live. So interestingly, where we were talking about Portugal is up against Serbia, it's going with Slovenia, it's going against Ukraine. Now the semi, semi two is where all the girl bops are. It seems to be that unfortunately they've all grouped them together so they're gonna make it harder. So Georgia is in the same semi as Malta, who we've previously discussed, they're mm -hmm. going for the same voter. Austria's also there. Albania, I don't know, at one point I would have said she wasn't in that group, but she's with the revamp of that song. It seems like they're all kind of going for the same voter. I'm quite keen to do a reaction video to Bass's revamp Titan. So let us know in the comments if you'd like to see that because we did react to Zemrin in Dore, but this is like a different song altogether. So mm -hmm. just a sidebar, let us know in the comments yeah. if you'd like that reaction video. We might consider doing that for you. It's not a, it's not dead in the water. I, th I think there's every opportunity for uh, her to qualify with this. Um, again, I just think it's not a lock and it might be a bit of a struggle. So I think these pop girlies are gonna have to be really inventive with how they try and sell this. Of the four that I've kind of mentioned who might be going for the same voter, Austria I think is by far the one that's most likely to qualify. I wouldn't even, I would consider Austria to be in the a league of its own, to be thing. honest. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think about this song. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more Eurovision nonsense from us, please consider subscribing. Mm -hmm. We have got one more reaction video to come, but we're also gonna be doing a top 10 video. And then over on our Patreon, oh we're God. going to be doing semi-final qualification <gasps> prediction videos. Yeah, that's a whole conversation going on over there. If you'd like to partake, then the address for our Patreon will be arriving on screen just presently. I see it in the air, I see it in the air. Like a firefighter! What you got? Um, if you would like to insert you can be the that, stand in for Georgia. I will be the stand in for Georgia. Imagine me trying to do that. Oh no, no, Small no. Small choreography. She can dance and I'll be behind a curtain like the Wizard of Oz. Um, we've also, what? Oh, that's probably everything. Social media's on screen. Have we mentioned that? Social media? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can follow us if you like, if you like. And then, what? Get on a plane to Georgia right now. Okay. okay. I don't know anything about Georgia. Take a bucket because they need a fire pudding. <laughs> And a moggy samba beat to our newest patrons, Pista Mateo, Lamictal, Kai XK, and Jules. Do you know where Georgia is? No. I'll give you five great British pounds. <laughs> I don't know where it is. To point it out on the map. I don't know. Join the Patron, we'll do a shot of Patron. Just like a legendary creature.